joined today by men's soccer player, a senior defender, Lasse Pico Kelsen. Thanks for joining us here today. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, talk about your journey to Davenport from Denmark. Um, it started out with, I was contacting this uh, agency who is specializing with college players and especially soccer players coming from Scandinavia. And then they made a video of me, like highlight video, and sent it out to a lot of schools. And then I got contacted by Davenport and other, a few other schools. And, but I chose Davenport because it seemed very interesting. They also had a Danish guy at the time that came from the same agency as well, so they kind of knew what they were getting. You know, you got to play quite a bit even as a freshman here, but what's it been like to kind of grow into the position you're at here in the last couple of years? It's been really good. We've learned a lot playing next to Steve my, for two years there, and then this year playing next to Kian. Then I get to teach him a lot of things, and that's really good. And he also teaches me stuff, even though he's a freshman. You know, what is the brotherhood like with the team? Like you said, you get to teach other guys, and they kind of teach you. But, you know, what's it like to, to be a part of a brotherhood like this? It's great. Uh, at some teams, I feel like that I've been in the past before Davenport, there's maybe been groups, but this is just one big group. And everyone just bonds together and everyone likes each other, so it's really good together. Yeah, a big highlight for you last week uh, in a 3-2 to two win over Saginaw Valley State. You had the game-winning goal with about three minutes left. Uh, talk through that and, and how that went to be. That was great. I don't get many goals, so uh, that was really good. Especially a game-winner against Saginaw, because we've had our battles against them the last couple of years. We've struggled, but this year we got them twice, so that was perfect. And then it couldn't be better to get the game-winner at the end. You guys are right in the thick of a GLIAC championship race, and you got two matches coming up this weekend, uh, Purdue Northwest on Friday and then Upper Iowa on Sunday. It'll be senior day. Is it hard to believe that it's come this uh, far and this quickly for you? Yeah, it is. It's really difficult to think about and just crazy to think about that it's come to this already. Even though I think, I'm think i not thinking that the season is about to be over, I think there's a lot of games to be played. But senior day, maybe the last game at Farmers, I don't hope so. Hopefully we can get the GLIAC tournament uh, you know, you had some convincing wins over those two opponents the last time you were on the road. How do you go about not overlooking teams like that? It's just about being concentrated in every game. Even though we won pretty well against Upper Iowa, there's no reason to underestimate them because they, they'll come out. They might be a different team, and they'll come out and get try to get revenge against us. And Purdue, we've played against them a few times, and we've struggled as well against them last year and the year before we've lost. So we'll definitely go out and... 100% focused on winning those games. You know, last question though, what do you think has been the key to the turnaround this season? I think we've gotten together as a group even more, and I think we've got more focused defensively. We've got a few pieces in there that looks better than last year, and then we've just, in the games we've won, we've been more clinical in front of goals than, than we were in the past year. All right, thank you. You're welcome.